All right, picking up where we left off with the house assignment. Uh, we have to put in some more doors, windows, um, and our window openings. So your home should look like this from the previous lesson where we trimmed out our doorways for our walls. Super similar to trimming out our doorways uh, for our windows, we're gonna find our center lines and then offset each way half of the distance. We're gonna have a two foot window up here in the bath, a three foot window over here in the main room, and three three foot wide windows over here in the main room as well. We wanna start off by finding the center line of the top window. And that one happens to be six feet, six inches in from the exterior side on the left. So we're gonna hit O, enter, click on our uh, exterior wall, move it over to the right and type in six foot six, enter. Now since it's the two foot wide window, we're gonna be offsetting it one foot each way. So O, enter, line to the right, one foot, enter, line to the left, one foot, enter. Now we'll do some fancy trimming, trim these out, trim off this section, get rid of that line, and delete these bottom three. I'll do this one over here. This one here happens to be five feet, six inches up from our uh, bottom edge. So we'll offset this line here up by five feet, six. And since it's a three foot window, we're gonna offset it one foot, six inches both ways. O, enter, up one foot, six. Line down, one foot, six. And again, trim. All right, once we get rid of those, I do these last three a little bit different. Since they're all the same size and they're all along the same wall, I find their center lines and then instead of offsetting three vertical lines, I'm just gonna copy those lines to the left and to the right. So we'll offset for our first center line, this exterior wall on the right, two feet, six inches in. The same line, an additional four feet two inches and again four feet two inches now instead of offsetting left right left right left right I'm just gonna take these lines and copy them CO enter and I'll copy them to the right one foot six and to the left one foot six as long as I have that polar tracking snap on with the green dot dot dots it's the same thing as an offset. Knowing that my uh, windows don't extend into my room, I'm gonna trim them off in my room. And then it kinda gets difficult trying to figure out what I need to trim. I know that I have an opening and then some wall. And then I'm gonna have an opening. Now that opening goes beyond the center line, so I'm gonna trim out both. Then some wall, then an opening again, through both, then a wall, then an opening again. Come through here, get rid of these little segments that are left over, get rid of the lines that have extended up above, and do not forget, you might have a little line right up here if you were zoomed out. All right, we're done with our openings. Uh, it's a good time to save, and we'll work on our window placements. Our windows are going to be in the Windows layer. So go ahead and click on Windows from your Layers tab. And I'll zoom into the bathroom up top. This window was two feet wide by four inches tall. Uh, four inches tall because of the thickness of our wall. Two feet wide based on the, the bath earlier when we offset one foot out each way, knowing that our window should be two feet wide. So I'm gonna draw myself a rectangle. All right, draw rectangle. And I like to draw it down below. I'll type in two foot tab four. Now it goes two feet in my X direction and four inches up and down. I don't draw my window in place. I could have just drawn a rectangle from endpoint to endpoint. But not knowing if my offsets were perfect this is a way I could double check my math to make sure that if I have a two foot wide opening and a two foot, five, two foot wide rectangle, they should fit in there perfectly. We're gonna finish off our window by drawing a line from midpoint to midpoint. 
to show that this is a single hung window. I will now move this rectangle in from the bottom left endpoint to the bottom left of my opening. And since my lines line right up, I know that I don't have any mistakes on either my opening or my window. We're gonna do the same thing with the three foot windows that we have. We have one, two, three windows. Looks like I'm missing a line here on my walls. Let me go ahead and put that in there. Line from endpoint to endpoint. There we go. Back to my windows layer. Um, but I want to have a three foot wide rectangle. So rectangle, three foot tab, again, four inches for the thickness of my walls. I'll draw in my line from midpoint to midpoint. And now I will not move this one in place, but I will copy it in place. Because I have multiple instances of the same size window, copying is going to make me a little bit more efficient than drawing each of those windows and moving them into place. I'm also going to place in my three foot window up here in that manner. For me to get this window to come down and in between my walls, I'm going to use the rotate command and I'll rotate it from where they touch by moving my mouse straight down along that polar snap. And we'll rotate it down by 90 degrees. Again, another good place to hit save. And now we'll put in our doors. Our doors are going to be going into the three remaining openings. And they're also going to be in the doors layer. The door sizes that we're going to be using are a standard one and three eighths of an inch thick. Now the width of the door depends on the width of the opening. I should have two two foot wide openings and a three foot wide opening from the previous drawing. To check that, I'm going to go to the annotate tab and I'm going to use the first button of measure. If I put my crosshairs in between that opening, it should tell me that it is two feet wide. Same thing on the right hand side and then a three foot wide opening down below. So I'm good. I can continue. That means that my door is going to be two feet long, but again, that one and three eighths of an inch wide for our standard door thickness. I'm going to draw myself a rectangle starting at the top left end point of the opening. And I'm going to draw my width of my door. We draw our doors in the open position, showing where they swing and what direction they swing. So top left, we're going to go over one dash three slash eight one and three eighths tab and because this is the two foot opening i'll go up by two feet my rectangle um, is one and three eighths of an inch wide two feet tall and now i get to put in my door swing door swing is usually drawn with an arc in autocad but autocad web doesn't have the arc that has a start end radius or even start center end is what I would usually use. So I just simply draw a circle from the hinge over to the opening of my door, two feet wide. What this also does is lets me check that my door itself is the proper height. Since my circle goes from opening to opening, my swing should be the exact same height as this top corner of my rectangle. Since they are, I know I'm good and I can continue. So I will trim off the circle down below, the circle up here, hit escape, and delete what is left over. If I trimmed, I would have had to have done three trims to get the rest of that arc off. Deleting the circle is much quicker. Since this is a two foot opening in our closet, it's gonna swing away. It's gonna be the exact same size as this door. So I'm just going to highlight, copy, CO enter, and I'm going to rotate this by 180 degrees so its doors on the right and my swing would go out to the left. To rotate, you can click on the rotate button over here in the bottom corner of your tools and click randomly in the middle and just type in 180, enter. I'll go ahead and move this one into place, moving it from the endpoint of my swing to the endpoint of my wall. 
and my door should just intersect where that wall is. All right, your homework is to do this one on your own. Um, when you're done, you should have yourself a door um, standing up over, oops, standing up over on the top left. So one and three eighths wide and a certain height tall. Uh, again, it should be the same as our door width. When you trim this one though, be careful. If I just trim below, it doesn't get my entire arc. Make sure that you zoom in because it's touching this top end point and you get what sticks down below the wall. I have a little piece left over I need to delete. And we are done. Save your drawing. We'll continue on here tomorrow.